Are you the apple of God's eyes? And is he watching over you? Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. According to dictionary.com, the phrase or idiom apple of one's eye means something or someone very precious or dear. But this idiom was derived from biblical roots. There are several verses in the Bible that references the apple of the eye, all in the Old Testament. The Hebrew meaning for apple of the eye is ishan, which means pupil. Ishan is derived from the word ish, which means man. So the derivation of ishan of the eye is the little man of the eye. But what does that mean? It means this, that essentially the apple of the, the apple of the eye is the pupil. The pupil is what enables us to see and to be seen. If you look deep into a friend's eyes, you may imagine that you, you can see their thoughts and maybe their dreams, but more likely you'll see an image of yourself. So because your friend is looking at you, your reflection is in the pupil of your friend's eyes. Hence, the little man in the pupil of the eye. It means you are the center of that friend's or that person's focus. In prayer for protection from his enemies, in Psalm 17 verse 8, David says, Keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In this verse, David prayed to God to keep watch over him, to guide him and protect him as he would the apple of his eyes. David wanted God to keep his eyes on him because if his eyes are on you, he's watching over you and you are the center of his focus. Your eyesight is one of your most essential senses. 80% of what we perceive comes through our sense of sight. The eyes are undoubtedly the most sensitive and delicate organs we possess. You are the most sensitive and delicate creation that God made. In Genesis 1:26 says, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. You and I are made in the likeness of the living God. We naturally protect our eyes. When danger is perceived, your eyelids reflectively close. Your head turns and your hands position themselves toward, toward off the threat. Your eyesight is valuable and your body naturally protects that vulnerable spot to prevent injury. Just as we protect our pupils in the natural, this is how God naturally, instinctively nurtures and protects us when we are the apple of his eyes. In Deuteronomy 32, Moses showcased the Lord's protective care of Israel while they were in the wilderness. He said this, he encircled him, he cared for him, he kept him as the apple of his eyes emphasizes Israel's vulnerability and God's tender, loving affection. God provided complete protection in the wilderness. So I want to encourage you today that if you are going through a wilderness season, God has his hands on you, watching over you because you are the apple of his eyes. In Proverbs 7, a wise father gives his son a word of wisdom. He said this, My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live, and my law as the apple of thine eye. Remember that Jesus in Matthew 5, 17 said, 
Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So Jesus is the fulfillment of the Old Testament law. So today we are to keep Jesus as the apple of our eyes. Keep our eyes on his words and on his works. Our eyeballs are like small round mirrors covered by a layer of salty fluid, tears. Their surfaces reflect light. The human eye converts light into impulses that are conveyed to the brain and interpreted as images. Without light reaching the pupil, there would be no reflection. So we must ask ourselves this question. When we walk in darkness and live in sin, are we the apple of God's eyes? Darkness cannot be reflected in the eye. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me